Hey guys, welcome back to another video in this Django tutorial series. And in our past two videos, we discussed about how we can uh, register a user to our website and then log them in. And in this video, we are going to talk about logging them out. So uh, let's check whether we're log in, logged in or not. Uh, let's just try this. Okay. And it's working pretty fine. So for the logout, uh, let's just create a view. We'll say logout user, and we'll just uh, give it a name of logout user because the logout will go in and match with the you know method that we have. It's going to be a request, and it's simple as this one over here. We just log out, and then we'll just return them to return redirect them to. Let's redirect them to login this time because. Once they're logged out, let's just ask them to log in back again. So uh, let's just register in views, I mean URLs. We just do a logout and then views dot logout user name is going to be logout. Okay. So, okay. Don't seem to be any issues with that. And let's reload it and let's just do accounts slash logout. Okay, if this works, it should redirect us to the login page. And there you go, it worked. And to make it to verify it, let's just you know print out saying logged out. Say it sorry, logged out successfully don't mind my spelling and we'll just go to admin and there you go it's logged in and then we'll just go ahead and uh, log out and okay it didn't do anything so Okay. Okay, it's just taking login user. So, wow, wow. Okay, now it should work. So it wasn't logging out actually. So now it logged you out, and it should print successfully logged out. Yep. Okay. So to make it more clear, let's just go to our base.html over here in the main app, and then go to base.html. And in this drop down, we'll say, so let's check if the user is logged in or not. If user dot is authenticated, so this means if the user is logged in, we'll just say, we'll just print the username. We'll just say user dot username. And then we'll ask them to, uh, we'll just say uh, my profile or something. Yep, my profile. And then let's get rid of these. But before that, let's copy this. And let's get rid of this line over here. And then let's give it a logout over here. We'll just do a logout here. And then our URL is going to be URL name is accounts this time because it's defined under account, defined under account. And we'll just do a logout over here. And then we need a end if statement. We'll do end if. Before that, let's give it a else statement. So if the user is not logged in, we'll just give them a prompt to you know log in. We'll just create, we'll just copy these and then ask them to log in and log out. So we'll just do that over here. We'll just tell them to log in and then we'll just ask them to register. And to log in, they're simply going to go to accounts and then and then log in and then accounts and register. Okay. So if this if this portion worked, this is the changes that we made in base.html. It should work as like a real website. So let's go to home, and we are not logged in right now. So it says login and register. So let's log in real quick. 
and there we go it says admin we're logged in as admin we can log out and again let's log in as new very good it's logged in as new and then we'll log out okay so that was the main purpose of this video and it, it was fairly simple for the logout user and in our upcoming videos we'll discuss more about the uh, user permissions like who can add movies and then we'll discuss about adding review and we'll we'll get more we'll explore more about our project and if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section below until next time thanks for watching